What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a second airport device to extend an already existing airport network. Now, I just did a video on how to set this, how to set up a simple network, um, and I also have an airport extreme, so I figured, hey, I'll show you guys how to set up to extend the network. Super simple, just like the setup, the original setup. So, once you already have your current network going and you're good to go and you plug in your second device and it starts flashing meaning it's ready to set up let's go over the Mac real quick so on the Mac I'm gonna show you how to do things like this on a iOS device soon too but for now we're gonna do it on a Mac you can also do it on a Windows computer using the airport utility you can download that from Apple's website but Anyway, so we're going to go down here to the new airport stream that's being ready to be set up. And we're going to click on it. And it's going to determine the network that would currently exist. And it's going to automatically see that I have an airport express set up. So you can see it's, well this one's trying to replace it because the airport extreme is a considered better device. So it's trying to replace it. All you gotta do is come down here to other options, click add to existing network, which basically means we're gonna extend the Airport Express using this extreme here. Now see it says the airport stream will be set up to extend the current network so that the new airport will extend the current one. And then we'll go ahead and hit next. Alright, now it says, as you can see, it'll be set up to extend the current express. So, basically just extending the network. Simple, good way to get to places in the house where you don't have very good signal. Now, generally when you do extend a network, you want to set the new router in a midpoint between where you're trying to extend to. That way it's not too far away from the original router causing issues. And we're going to go ahead and just hit don't send analytics. And now it'll automatically do everything it needs to do 100% automatically. It's super simple. Apple makes everything just incredibly simple and these are some of the best routers I've ever owned. I've owned all kinds of Belkins and Netgears and they've just never been as simple and reliable. I mean like with a with a Netgear you have to go to the internet browser and type in the IP address. It's a giant pain in the ass. But this, boom, it's all tied together with Apple products. You can also do the same setup on an iOS device which I will be making videos on how to do that too in the near future. But for now, I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac. And like I said, you can get the utility for a PC. Just type in Airport Utility. And the same setup applies on a PC, except you don't go up here. You go, you launch the utility first. All right, so it's done. We'll go ahead and hit Done. And on the Internet tree, you can see that it is showing how the network's set up. So it's showing that this extreme is now extending this current express. So, you know, you can you can click on both of the devices individually and set them up. Again, super simple. Just wanted to show you how to do it really quickly if you were trying to extend a current Apple network. That's how you do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.